So I include um, quite an extensive appendix um, in the book. It includes the uh, cast of characters, but also d the description of the different races and species that are in the book. Uh, as well as a very extensive glossary. And I didn't just do, like, well, the glossary about the book, but about uh, anything that the reader might not know from their own understanding. Uh, in the second episode, we have a lot of pirates. So I go to great lengths to make sure that everything that I describe about a pirate ship is defined. Okay, um, many, many things that you read in the book that might not normally be in a glossary. I've included it in the glossary so that if the reader needs to, they can look and see what that thing is without having to go to another reference. Um, the plan is, and I hope this works well because this is what I'm doing, is to actually the first time that uh, a character or a species or race or a particular thing that needs to be defined, um, the first time we come across the word, it'll be interactive so you can actually bounce down to the glossary and hopefully bounce back to the same, you just link up and down. So we have like an interactive glossary and you go, oh, well, what is a dragon? You know, and it's like, it gives something of the dragons and who these beings were. Because they're just not fire beating dragons. They have like specific history. They're troubadours and they, you know, have a certain power about, uh, seeing into a person's soul or their true personality and um, you know the fairies are a little bit different from the pixies and the leprechauns have certain abilities right and you want to know what all those things are but what is the flame of magic what are the chronicles what is the amulet so anyway I, I actually am quite excited about this because it is an interactive glossary, um, an interactive appendix, and helps the reader to have a better understanding and appreciation of the story.